Welcome to the instructional video for CTK Biotech's Raffia system, which includes our FIA100 immunofluorescence analyzer, our FIA101 incubator, and our FIA tests. This system has enhanced point of care testing ability and aids in the diagnosis of conditions related to hormones, infections, diabetes, the cardiovascular system, the renal system, and more. Today we will highlight two modes of our Raffia system the standard test mode, and the quick test mode, then go over some tips to avoid error. The standard test mode allows users to perform a test reaction in machine. In this mode, the analyzer will control reaction time automatically to give an accurate result. Always refer to the test instructions for use to confirm the recommended test mode. For the standard test mode, bring the detection buffer to room temperature. If the specimen was stored frozen, Thaw the specimen and mix it well prior to performing the assay. Turn on the analyzer. Ensure the lot number of the SD card matches the lot number of the test kit and detection buffer. Insert the SD card into the SD card inlet at the front of the analyzer. Press test and then standard test to input patient information. In case patient information is not necessary, skip this step by pressing skip. You will see a prompt that says, please insert test cartridge. Check the expiration date on the pouch. Do not use an expired test. When ready to test, open the pouch and label the cartridge with the specimen's ID number. Add the stated volume of specimen from the test instructions for use into the buffer tube provided in the test kit. Mix the specimen and detection buffer well by tapping or inverting the tube. Load 80 microliters of the specimen mixture into the sample well of the cartridge, ensuring there are no air bubbles. Do not overload the sample well. Immediately insert the cartridge into the analyzer's test cartridge inlet and press Start Test. The analyzer will automatically start testing. After the test is complete, the test result will be shown on the screen and printed automatically. The quick test mode allows users to perform test reactions outside the analyzer. The analyzer will skip the reaction time countdown and read the test result immediately under the quick test mode. Without an in-analyzer reaction, users will be able to incubate multiple test cartridges in the incubator and perform multiple tests continuously without waiting for unfinished tests. For the quick test mode, bring the detection buffer to room temperature. If the specimen was stored frozen, thaw the specimen and mix it well prior to performing the assay. Turn on the incubator and set the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. Set the incubation time stated in the test instructions for use for accurate results. Reheat it to 25 degrees Celsius. Turn on the analyzer and ensure the lot number of the SD card matches the lot number of the test kit and detection buffer. Insert the SD card into the SD card inlet at the front of the analyzer. Press test and then quick test to input patient information. In case patient information is not necessary, skip this step by pressing skip. You will see a prompt that says, please insert test cartridge. Check the expiration date on the pouch. Do not use an expired test. When ready to test, open the pouch and label the cartridge with the specimen's ID number. Add the stated volume of specimen from the test instructions for use into the buffer tube provided in the test kit. Mix the specimen and detection buffer well by tapping or inverting the tube. Load 80 microliters of the specimen mixture into the sample well of the cartridge, ensuring there are no air bubbles. Immediately insert the cartridge into the incubator. The incubator will automatically count down the incubation time that was already set. After incubation, 
pull out the cartridge, insert it into the analyzer, and press start test. The test result will be shown on the screen and printed automatically. As mentioned before, please pay attention to these tips to avoid error. Always refer to the test instructions for use to confirm the recommended test mode. Make sure the specimen and detection buffer are at room temperature prior to testing. Ensure the SD card lot number, the test lot number, and detection buffer lot number match. Before utilizing the test cartridge, make sure to check the expiration date. If using quick test mode, ensure the incubator temperature is turned on and set to 25 degrees Celsius and preheated to 25 degrees Celsius prior to testing. Make sure not to overload the sample well. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please reach out to us via email at tech at ctkbiotech.com.